Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Now I will finish work on this compound slide lock. On the next step I need to mount this piece of brass over here. First of all I will trim it to the square size as accurate as I can and then drill the holes and mount. That's it. The holes for the mounting screws, this way of clamping, now I will be sure that uh, the hole in the same position of the both plates, let's go. Now I need to fit the height of the plate, uh, I need to remove near 0.8 millimeters. Uh, first half of the millimeter I will remove with the end mill and then with the fly cutter, everything else. Every time after each tenth of the millimeter I will check on the lace how it fits, or maybe even less at the end. So let's go with the first half of the millimeter. Next piece of puzzle is this clamp. Just a few important dimensions, they are over here. Um, everything else is more or less free and rough cutting to make it more beautiful. After a little bit of more milling, I have this piece, so it fits almost perfectly here, almost because um, I have a little bit more of play than I want, but it should be fine. <clears throat> and now I could measure how it will be. Here will be also the piece of brass on the bottom. But before I mounted it, I want to measure. So, <clears throat> it should fit something like this. And when I will clamp it, it should hold. Uh, I have the gap of one millimeter. So, the last things that basically left to test it out is to drill an 8mm hole over here and mount this piece of brass. That's it. And now the final assembly, or almost final assembly. A little bit of the thread lock on the bottom screws. It is how it looks. Now I will mount it to the lace and we'll try it. Later on I will need to do some handle here. So here it goes. It slides and it clumps. When I will have a handle it will clump much better. A little bit of oil under the slide. Now 
let that go. The small nuts. Now it slides quite easy and I could slide it with the hand as before. And let's clamp it. I'm using a pillars for now as I didn't have a handle yet for it, but it's for sure will not be the case. Okay, just a little bit. And I couldn't slide it anymore with the hands. It's just impossible. And it's not possible to slide with the handle. So... Now just to make some handle here. And this will be it. And of course mount the slide protection. Now the first part of the handle made of aluminum. The hole for the shaft. Facing of another side and cut into design lines. Now I want to cut here with 10 degrees angle, like a half, uh, exactly the place where the handle will located. To do that I will need uh, to move the flight to the 10 degrees and then move it. This is terrible how it's rotating in this lace. I think it's on all of the small laces similar. On my previous one was absolutely the same, so I need to move out completely and then there is two screws which I need to unscrew and rotate to the degree I want and then move it back. Uh, terrible operation. I saw some ideas how to improve it. Uh, but we'll see what we will do, but definitely I will do something with it just impossible to use it for with all of this movement. So I need to move out completely, almost completely. Then unscrew it and then go back. And 10 degrees of rotation, something like that. It shouldn't be super precise or super accurate. It just I want 10 degrees there. And now it's move it all the way back, or almost all the way back, because I still need place that I will use to go. Okay, now the most terrible operation for this lace, it's for now, most terrible operation. Because <clears throat> I need to look, to lock the slide. And now I show you how I did it before and you will understand why I made this small piece for this lace. So I need to open the gears. I need to unscrew this screw. 
to move gears out, move all the gears, that lead screw is not moving, together with the lace. Now I need to look the slide to the lead screw, and now it's more or less locked. And now cutting off 10 degree angle here. Now two holes. The thread. Second piece made of steel. One more thread at the end. Cutting is pretty hard operation, but I'm really like how this layer is doing it. Now I finished with last two pieces, this one and this one. Just connect them together and this will be almost done. A little bit of thread lock, as I don't want to screw it anymore. It will be fixed for almost forever. And now I will mount it to the lace. Let's check this one more time. So now I could easily move the slide. And now it's not possible to move at all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.